take number fucking two because I accidentally bumped the touch screen. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Alright, you get plugged in and turned on. There, my hair's out of my fucking face. Now, listen to me go on about money, the stock market, the, the bears and bulls, the bubbles, the fear and greed based system, the cyclic, cyclic cycle-like circle jerk fallacy that the whole fucking system really is the use of do I have one yeah the use of one of these yeah one of these one of these The whole system is based on the idea that this has value, and it doesn't. Back when the system of this was based on gold or silver, over 70 years ago, it still had no value. A rock you dig out of the ground and say it has value does not have value and neither does this it has no value you have no value I have no value the camera I'm recording on has no value nothing in existence has value it's all in your fucking head. It's a psychosomatic circle jerk, okay? It's a fuck you from one person who wants to have you use these dollars that I showed you. These IOUs. And yeah, every country has their own IOU now. Because it's based on the idea. The idea that something has value. And as everyone should painfully and obviously be aware of, all words are made up. It's not just a quote from Thor when he was talking to the Guardians of the Galaxy in Avengers Endgame. Or, no, not Endgame. Infinity War. It's not just a quote. It's an objective truth, not a fact, a truth. It's an omniversal truth. It transcends your pathetic existence. It transcends my existence. It transcends all of existence. Everything that you think in your head is made the fuck up. Just like the character played by Lawrence Fishburne, Morpheus, told the character played by Keanu Reeves, Neo, what is real. If you're talking about what you can see, you can taste, you can touch, real is nothing more than electrical impulses interpreted by your brain. Everything you think you know just isn't, okay? Like the song by Weird Al, everything you know is wrong. So just forget all the words and sing along, because everything you know is wrong. The idea that that dollar I held up has value 
or worth is a joke. That dollar does nothing but hold me back from my absolute potential if we're going to use fallacies and made up words that have imagined value. That dollar holds me back from my true imagined potential as a living being, as a sentient and self-aware being. It holds me back from achieving my fullest imaginable capacity and capability. It is a made-up system based on the idea of keeping everyone under control. And we must maintain order or control. Those two words are interchangeable in that quote. Being the outcry of the oppressor. That's the entire system explained convolutedly. If you don't understand, with all the references, understand this. It's nothing more than a system of enslavement. Because the dollar is nothing more than a federal printed IOU that says someone owes someone something. It has no real value. And like the YouTuber Mike from Silver and Gold with Mike Maloney said in one of his recent videos in the last month or so. He pointed out, and I'm paraphrasing, so you'll have to find the actual video by him. He pointed out that from somewhere in the 1800s when they first started the stock market, if you rode the peak of one asset or commodity on the exchange, if you rode it up to a peak and then you switched your um, holdings from that asset class to another one, he went with gold and dollar bills. He also went with housing in there, so technically he was going with three asset classes. But if you ride the peak, if you ride up to the peak of one, and then as soon as it's high enough, you sell off that one, and you use the currency to purchase another stock on the exchange in another commodity asset class that is uh, proportionately opposite to the peak you're on such as gold and the dollar or gold and the housing market or currently what you're seeing with uh, the dollar bill and oil so if I took just Let's say I got a government stimulus check for 1200 and I put that into, you know, $1,200, and I went and onto COMEX, and I bought $1,200 worth of oil. Well, oil is selling for negative 40 last time I looked, and that was two days ago. So, let's say it's at negative 20 right now. That means they're giving me 20 United States IOU fallacy bonds in exchange for giving me oil. And I'm buying a 55 gallon drum for that price. That negative price, that means they're giving me the money because they're the ones selling it. 
So in truth, the number for me is a positive, but for them it's negative. So that's why on the COMEX, was it the West Texas Industry, WTI? Is that what Mike said it was? I remember it had a T and an I. They're selling it for negative. You know what selling is. And stating that they're selling at a negative, it may sound confusing to a lot of people. But that basically means they're giving you money to take this item from them. And in a, in a week, maybe even sooner, that price is going to go bang through the roof and it's going to be back to like 50 and 60 dollars that you pay them in order to get that 55 gallon drum of oil but let's say I took uh, 1200 and I went and bought at negative 20 I've got a calculator just give me a minute to get it Even though, yeah, there's one on my phone. My phone's busy being a fucking recording device right now. And it, it's coincidental that this is a Texas Instrument calculator. <laughs> Wait, come the fuck on. may have kept it in the drawer so long that it just doesn't want to work. There you go. Okay. Let's see, that's uh, $20. I don't know. I'll take $1,200 because uh, that's the stimulus. They're saying you'd get it max. And I'm dividing that by 20. That means I would get 60 barrels of oil. And I, and I just, you know, I buy that. But at the same time, they're, they're paying me to take it. So, 60 times, let's see. 60 times 20. Yes, uh, I, w I would actually be making a profit of that same amount. Which would double the money I have and give me oil. Do you see the problem here? With how your American economy is working? So let's say I take those 60 barrels and I wait for the price to go into the positive. Let's say it hits positive uh, uh, nice average is 30 so times 30. And I turn around and sell them as soon as it hits a positive 30. I'll make $1,800. Plus the 24, giving me a grand total of $4,200. And that's just if I were to do what your upper class, your top 1% America is already doing. They're already doing that. Me talking about it right now, they've already done it. It's already done. They've already bought, bought, or rather got paid to take oil from the mining companies. Off, of, off the mining companies while they're making a profit getting oil. Do you see the problem here, America? Do you see how fucked up your economic system really is right now? The answer is yes. Yes, you do. The real question that I should have asked 
is what the fuck are you assholes gonna do about it? And those those riots, those uh, street blockades or whatever's going on, where they're saying to um, fire a guy, I think it's the same uh, senator or mayor of um, one place who said that the Constitution he was sworn to uphold and protect was above his pay grade. I think it's the exact same one. I think that's where some of those riots are taking place right now. So it's only a matter of time before civil war in America breaks out. And it's not just over this oil price and how heavily it's going to be manipulated and has already been, mind you. Even though I'm talking about it as if I could do this, which I can't, only your top 1% have already done this. Three days ago, when it was happening, that's when they were doing this. The same asshole who sold off his stocks before the coronavirus hit and made all that money, he went and he went into the, the Comex and he bought oil for a profit. And he's going to hold on to it until it hits a positive number. And then he's going to sell it and make even more circle jerk fallacy currency. And guess what he's going to do with that? He's going to live it the fuck up. <coughs> During the Third Great Depression. Well, technically it would be the second. <coughs> this next Great Depression that's going to happen. He's going to be living it the fuck up in some private-ass bunker, hidden away, where you can't find or see his ass. <clears throat> Just like the rest of the wealthy .01% who have manipulated this situation in the exact same manner that I described to you and punched up on the calculator. 4000 Two hundred fucking dollars <clears throat> for sixty barrels of oil, fifty-five gallon drums. Same thing, just a different way of explaining it. That's why synonyms are a fucking mess. They breed misconception, and they're used by bureaucrats and politicians to lie to your face. Because they'll say one thing, you'll think it means something good. Like the CARES Act, which really means they don't give a fuck about you. Because they're bailing out the oil industry. They're bailing out the fucking airline industry. <laughs> they're bailing out the fucking cruise line industry. Industries that are non-essential in this global crisis, which I've known was going to happen for years. Because I looked into history years ago, and I realized, hey, every 100 years, like clockwork, there's a big fucking disease outbreak that wipes humanity a new one. And this whole time, I haven't been able to prepare. I've attempted to prepare, but every time I do anything, it's destroyed. Like the blueberry bush that I planted out in the front yard. Some asshole got on his lawnmower, moved the blocks I had around it, and then ran it the fuck over. When I confronted the little bitch, it said it had no fucking clue that anything was there bull fucking shit the fact that you had to stop <clears throat> turn off your lawnmower get off of it move blocks and then run over what those blocks were around means that there was a fucking clue there a blatantly obvious clue fucking idiots I can't even grow a garden to plan ahead for the depression that's coming so that I'll have a sustainable source of food. Because everyone who can fucks over everything I do. 
just like the United States government fucks over everything everyone living in the United States does. Let's look at another example. Let's look at YouTube itself. The so-called Wild West days. Ooh, That's when anyone, literally anyone, could become famous. And a lot of people did. And then YouTube got bureaucratized. And then YouTube got monetized. And a lot of people who had a lot of fame going on suddenly didn't have any fame anymore. Anybody remember Fred? He had three fucking movies. Anybody remember uh, that black fellow who sang and uh, he got real famous for one song called Chocolate Rain. Anybody remember that? Anybody remember the reaction video uh, famously known for Leave Britney Alone that was featured in Meet the Spartans. Anybody remember that? I bet half of you don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. Because as soon as money got involved on YouTube, as soon as a corporate system and a bureaucratized system as soon as the United States fucking federal government got involved with YouTube, bam, it became about money. It became about YouTube's top earners, about the shock jock who became an international terrorist and his name is Logan motherfucking Paul. It became about those top .01% bitches who don't deserve it, who never deserved it. Why use YouTube as an example? All if null. Don't know what the fuck it is? Look at the fuck up. I'm not explaining that one. Or even better yet, for a better all if null, look at the the entirety of what's happening with gaming, the gaming industry, holistically. And how shit the situation is. How EA is a company that devours other companies and shits out rotting corpses in their wake. That's exactly what America is. It gobbles up everything that is wholesome and shits out a rotting corpse. It drains the life out of you and me and fucks us, the common people, over because it's a bureaucratized, corporatized, monetized system that only cares about its fallacy of money. And you know where this comes from? This comes from Hot Shots Part 2. Don't know what that is? Look at the fuck up. Because it's time for America to stop its vicious imperialistic tactics around the world. Till next time. Fuck off.